Uhuru Kenyatta is set on reinvestment on revamping, I beg your pardon, industries and projects around the country, a move which many see as part of his legacy. Since his coming to power in 2013, a lot of stalled projects have been revamped. The projects that had failed before due to mismanagement of funds have now got a facelift. Our reporter Carol Wangari Wanjiru shed some light on these undertakings. <laughs> The Kenyan Meat Commission is one of the sectors that President Uhuru Kenyatta has revived since his coming into power in 2013. KMC was rolled back to life on Monday, May 24th, after President Uhuru Kenyatta officially handed over the commission to Kenya Defense Forces, KDF. The commission has been marred with numerous corruption cases, including the six billion cash scandal in 2019. To prevent its collapse, the president directed Agriculture CS Peter Munya to oversee its transfer to the military in September 2019, and the renovation was allocated 80 million shillings in the budget. This is last 10, sir, and we sell it at 508, sir, per kilo, sir. In the year 2019, President Uhuru Kenyatta presided over the reopening of Rivertex production plant in Eldoret two decades after its collapse. During the launch, President Uhuru Kenyatta called upon every Kenya to consume locally produced goods to support Kenyan entrepreneurs, thus setting aside Friday as a day when government officials would wear the African attires. Rivertex is already making fabrics for our uniformed forces, schools, hospitals, and supplying to the general public popular clothing such as kitenges and kangas, Kisumu Port is one of the projects that the president hopes to give priority when he visits the county during the Madaraka Day celebrations, where the refurbishment of the port is expected to return to full maritime transport in the lake for both commercial goods and passengers. Some of the airstrips the government has set aside for the restoration include Nyaribo Airstrip in Nyeri, which is expected to be completed in July 2021, Migori Airstrip, which will enhance the transport connectivity, boost trade in the region and decongest Kisumu International Airport, and the Kakamega Airstrip. Carol Wangari Wanjiru, Look Up TV, Nairobi.